uh, you're all to be thanked for that. I mean, it, quite honestly, uh, your, your interest and concern for this community, uh, and there's a lot of people who are not here that, that uh, because of the weather were uh, concerned about coming for their own safety, it's understandable. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it's, uh, it's something that now we're doing what we feel we need to do. Uh, the attorneys are already hired. The same one that you tell us talk to. Stocking leader, stocking leader is uh, is indeed proceeding with uh, okay. the actions. Now, in the May election, are the candidates that going to run? Are they allowed to cross file? Not for borough council. Not for borough yeah. council. Yeah. Not for uh, school council. board, yes. Borough council, no. Okay. And one more question. Sorry about this people, but I usually pay my taxes ahead of time before the new the set price goes in. I figured mine out. My taxes for the borough went up two hundred twenty-five dollars, mm -hmm. or the exact two hundred twenty-four dollars and nineteen cents. Somebody said, "Well, how do you know that?" I said, "Well, all you do is pay taxes easy. for last year, subtract it from the now." I said, "You know." <laughs> Whatever. Well, right now, yes. Uh, uh, I mean, if you certainly want to pay in the discount period, uh, uh, the opportunity uh, for that uh, uh, first 60 days is to do that. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not telling anybody not to pay their taxes. What I am saying is, it's going to be up to the judge as to uh, as to what uh, he wants to do about this, uh, uh, about the two pieces of legislation, uh, and how to fix it. Like I say, there, there's already uh, a quarter million dollars have been loaned out under that revolving loan fund ordinance. They didn't loan it to me, that's for sure. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Um, Whatever the judge orders, if he determines that it was unconstitutional, uh, it's, it's up to him. He could. Uh, uh, it's 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 basically uh, how he decides to remedy. Okay, but it's not going to come out of the borough council's pocket. They're they're not going to pay it back. Uh, we're, we're not bottom actually, line is bottom line is even if the judge would order that, okay. Uh, the borough has uh, heirs and emissions insurance. Yeah. Okay, so it's the insurance company uh, uh, that will end up paying. So, uh, but it's 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 totally up to the judge. Okay. Uh, well, I have another question. Now that it, it it got this far, and we're having a meeting here, and everybody's upset about it. Don't we have a borough solicitor? Is he is he advising this borough council to go ahead and keep doing what they're doing? The or the the stock and leader uh, sent uh, the uh, solicitor a letter. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a copy, by the way. Do we have copies of that letter? If, if you want to see that letter, uh, there's copies here. Yeah, but did did he respond to it? Uh, verbally, not in writing. Okay. It just simply said that the. Uh, the the uh, uh, the people I uh, represent want to proceed. So he's not he's not actually advising them to go ahead. They're doing that on their own. He's well, we don't know. are telling him. We don't know uh, what he's doing. He, he, no, he, he said that that's 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 what his uh, that's what members of council wanted. For, for him to just uh, okay. to go ahead and, and, and proceed and defend them. Well, then I'll, I'll make one other statement. I went to a borough council meeting, and I can't tell you the, the exact date or when it was. It was approximately a year ago. But Rebecca Dellinger showed a program on a screen, and it took about an hour and a half to watch it, and it was USA Downtown Columbia. She had apparently went out to Pittsburgh somewhere mm -hmm. and got information about 
She wanted a little downtown Columbia on Locust Street. She wanted a little shop in every building. And that's what her goal is. And I think she's the one that's behind all this. I don't think the woman has a brain in her head. <laughs> I think that she's the one that talked to Borough Council into doing this. Borough Council know, could have said no. I, that's right, but I don't see them standing up to her. They're just letting her do whatever she wants. Well, first of all, she's the one that's causing all the problems. No, uh, no not necessarily. No, when no, I did her right to know and all that, there, there's, there's, she's never managed a municipality like that. Okay, uh, and. Uh, uh, the, and she does not reside in our And uh, she doesn't have to. Too. I know uh, she doesn't have to. Okay, well, that don't enter into this. But, but, the, but the fact remains is, uh, regardless of who presented what, I mean, it could have been an outsider as opposed to a borough manager. Uh, it could have been a developer as opposed to a borough manager. Uh, it, but it's it's council's decision. The council has to own uh, the responsibility for their decisions. Yeah. Yep. And uh, regardless of how much we pleaded with them, and I pleaded with them, uh, it's just uh, water off a duck's back. Hey, do you want to copy that? No, well, I'm not okay. Norm, no, I want to say something to what yeah. uh, he just said. He mentioned that it doesn't matter about Rebecca not living in here because it is uh, the borough manager not living as a county resident. But it does matter in that. She doesn't pay taxes here, and she doesn't yeah. care how high ours go. She's never going to have to pay them. Yeah, that, I agree with that. But the, but uh, she she's in a position where she doesn't, she doesn't have to live in this property. No, well, not really. She there are I'm not sticking up for her. I think she should live in this property. Right. There are some municipalities that actually require that that right. they relocate. Why does not our borough council? Why don't they have that requirement? It's not a ordinance here. Uh, e Town and Middle Town, I think maybe. Okay. Did, uh, we have did, did, that was that, that was that what you sent me? Uh, the the borough manager job description is that what borough council adopted, or is that just something that was downloaded from the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs website? Okay. Uh, I know previously they were they were told that the uh, that the, the preference was that they uh, reside in the borough, uh, and that uh, as a matter of fact, the uh, uh, one of the borough managers was was paid. Uh, to move uh, and paid uh, uh, well, basically certain certain uh, covered certain costs, okay, for his establishment of, of a uh, of a residence in the borough. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the borough council that uh, that I was uh, with at the time, but uh, it was. Well, we have too many one people of my in this town that don't they, they don't live here. Uh, they just got rid of the street department guy. He didn't he resign? He lived in York County. Yeah. Um, so we have too many people that are here taking our money, but they're not living here. They're not coming, they're not putting anything back into our community. That's, that's my opinion. Can't do anything about. Any other questions, folks? I I know the weather's bad. So, uh, uh, is there any other questions? Okay, we're we're out of period. Uh, uh, on the agenda for five, where uh, the uh, the members, those of you who actually joined the association, 